Hi, my name is Erica Watson and I'm an academic librarian in San Francisco. Um, I chose The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chomsky because this book was challenged at a library that I worked at. Um, and what we did is, I, it, I was denied to, the right to buy it, so I brought in personal copies and some of my students um, sat and read, read it in the library. It, it's very emotional for me. <clears throat> Dear friend, do you enjoy holidays with your family? I don't mean your mom and dad family, but your uncle and aunt and cousin family. Personally, I do. There are several reasons for this. First, I'm very interested and fascinated by how everyone loves each other, but no one really likes each other. Second, the fights are always the same. Dear friend, I feel great. I really mean it. I have to remember this for the next time I'm having a terrible week. Have you ever done that? You, you feel really bad and then it goes away and you don't know why? I try to remind myself when I feel great like this that there will be another terrible week coming someday. So I should store up as many great details as I can so during the next terrible week I can remember those details and believe that I'll feel great again. It doesn't work a lot, but I think it's very important to try. I know that I brought all this on myself. I know that I deserve this. I'll do anything not to be this way. I'd do anything to make it up to everyone and to not have to see a psychiatrist who explains to me about being passive aggressive and to not have to take the medicine he gives me, which is too expensive for my dad and to not have to talk about bad memories with him or be nostalgic about bad things. I just wish that God or my parents or Sam or my sister or someone would just tell me what's wrong with me.